Let's say you have capital of $1,000. How much out of that you would be putting into trading and how much out of that you would spend for EAs? You find your EA, you have everything you're looking for, verified track record, you have good reviews, happy users. How much of uh, the capital traders should be spending on the EA and how much they should leave for the actual trading? Obviously, like it doesn't make sense to put the waka waka for a $2,500 robot into a $1,000 robot. You cannot afford it. Right? Yeah. You can't but it doesn't make it. any kind of sense to do yeah. that. You know, I've seen amazing EAs for $100, for $200. And not only have I seen them, I'm trading them and, and my results are public. You can see the results I'm giving, even with three years. Can you give some examples for cheap oh, years? So the Dark Moon, for example, that we placed onto a $200 account, which is 25 or 30% up already. And it, that really is for me a set and forget. I've put it on, I did my back test, I put it on and I've forgotten about it. It just does its own thing. More recently, the Dark Nova, for example, right? So that's a slightly more expensive year. I believe that is about $500 but it's also doing very well. The Dark Titan is a $99 EA, also doing very well, really performing well in our accounts. Uh, the Dark Gold, which was 99, it recently went up to 199 because it is performing that well. What's also quite important to note is in these cases is that with some of the EAs, like the Dark EAs, for example, you don't buy one license. So you pay and you get five flexible or 10 flexible licenses, depending on which one you go.